This is Radio Nepal. I am Dela Prasai with the news, the headlines first. Newly elected members of the House of Representatives take oath of office and secrecy. CPN Mavist Center elects Chairman Puspa Kamal Dahal Prachanda as its parliamentary party leader. Health Ministry clarifies BF7 variant of COVID-19 detected in China has not been found in Nepal. And Taliban arrest women protesting against university ban in Afghanistan. Now the news in detail. Newly elected members of the House of Representatives took the oath of office and secrecy yesterday. As per the provision, the senior most member of the House of Representatives, Pashupati Samser Jangabadu Rana, administered the oath of office and secrecy to all the members. The oath-taking ceremony was held at the new Banish or Best Federal Parliament Building. The members elect reached the Federal Parliament Building in national uniform and respective cultural attires to take the oath. According to the Federal Parliament Secretariat, 26 members took oath in different 14 mother tongues. Prior to the oath, Taking ceremony in a meeting summoned by the Member of Parliament Rana, General Secretary of the Federal Parliament Secretariat, Dr. Paratras Gautam briefed the newly elected members about the oath taking procedures. CPN Mavist Centre Chairman Puspa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has been elected as the party's parliamentary party leader in the House of Representatives. A meeting of the Mavist Centre's parliamentary party held yesterday at Singodarbar picked Dahal to the post on a post. Likewise, Hitharaz Pandey has been elected the chief whip of the party. However, deputy parliamentary party leader and whip are not elected. Similarly, Naren Kazi Shrestha has been elected as the CPN matched Centre's Parliamentary Party in the National Assembly. Earlier yesterday, a meeting of the party's office bearers held at the party's central office in Peristanda decided to pick party chair Prachanda as the Parliamentary Party leader and Pandey as the chief whip in the House of Representatives. Prime Minister Sherbado Deoba, CPN Maoist Centre Chairman Puspa Kamal Dahal Prachanda and CPN Unified Socialist Chairman Madhav Kumar Nepal held a meeting at Balwatar yesterday. Prime Minister's Press Coordinator Govinda Pariyar said the leaders discussed the matter of new government formation. Press Coordinator Pariyar further said the leaders have intensified the meetings for the coalition government formation. President Bidya Devi Bhandari has called the political parties to come up with a majority for the government formation by the 25th of December. The Ministry of Health and Population has said the BF7 variant of COVID-19 detected in neighboring China has not been found in Nepal yet. Health Ministry Joint Spokesperson Dr. Samir Kumar Adhikari clarified that no cases of infection from BF7 variant were detected in Nepal while conducting gene sequencing of samples collected across the country during the last one-month period. Joint spokesperson Adhikari further said all 48 samples were linked to the Omicron variant of COVID-19. He added that the ministry had started to increase monitoring levels as new COVID variants were being detected in some countries. The health ministry spokes, joint spokesperson mentioned that the ministry would coordinate with the concerned countries in order to prevent the new variants from entering Nepal. President Bidya Devi Bhandari has expressed worries regarding the challenges the country's economy has been facing. Addressing the 15th National Industrial Expo in Butwal of Rupandehi yesterday, President Bhandari said the increasing imports and shrinking of exports have created serious challenges in the national economy. She stressed on the need for coordination among all the stakeholders to face the emerging fiscal challenges and save the country. Also addressing the program, Home Minister Balkrishna Khan said the business community marred by the pandemic has been further pressurized due to the increasing interest rates. 
A meeting of the Secretariat of the CPNUML has conferred the responsibility of taking special decisions to Chairman K.P. Sharma Oli. CPNUML Vice Chairman Subhas Nambang said the meeting held at Balkot yesterday discussed contemporary political issues and decided to move ahead as per the mandate of the election. A demonstration flight was conducted at Pokhara Regional International Airport yesterday. Yet the airlines made the first successful demo flight at the airport. According to airline spokesperson Sudarshan Bartola, the flight took off from the old airport at 2.15 p.m. and landed at International Airport at 2.27 p.m. During the flight, the crew members assessed that the airport is technically fit for the flight operation. The airport is formal coming into operation on the 1st of January in 2023. Likewise, Buddha Air also made a demo flight at the airport at 3.6 p.m. yesterday. Chief Election Commissioner Dinesh Kumar Thapalia has said necessary policy level and legal reforms will be made in the election system in the coming days, receiving a report submitted yesterday by the former Judges Forum regarding observation of the November 20 elections, Chief Election Commissioner Thapalia shared that the Election Commission was preparing to make reforms in the election even by amending the laws. You are listening to Radio Nepal, 8 a.m. English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. An antiviral drug tested by more than 25,000 vaccinated COVID patients has been found to reduce recovery time from the disease. More a new peer was given uh, to people twice a day for five days at home while they had the Omicron variant of COVID. The chosen were at higher risk of death or hospitalization from COVID due to ease or underlying health conditions. Despite aiding recovery, the drug did not decrease death rates or hospital admissions. Participants taking the antiviral drug while having COVID were compared with those receiving standard care who also had the infection. The trial was conducted to see whether it backed up previous studies on molnupiravir, which had suggested it was effective at reducing hospital admissions among patients with mild to moderate COVID infection. However, those trials were conducted on unvaccinated patients before the emergence of the Omicron variant. Meanwhile, there is a growing concern over the spread of COVID in China following the recent easing of strict lockdown measures. Hospitals across the country appear to be filling up amid a fresh wave of infections, according to the World Health Organization, WHO. Officially, there have been seven COVID dates uh, this week, up until 21st of December and none in the previous two weeks. The Taliban have arrested five women taking part in a protest in the Afghan capital, Kabul, against the ban on women attending universities. Three journalists were also arrested. Protests are also understood to have taken place in the Dakar province. God stopped hundreds of women from entering universities on Wednesday, a day after the ban was announced. It is the latest policy restricting women's education since the Taliban returned to power last year. Girls have already been excluded from most secondary schools. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to be partly cloudy in the hilly areas of Province 1 and mainly fair in the rest of the country. Kathmandu's weather report now. Maximum temperature of 18.2 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 6.5 degrees Celsius. With this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Newly elected members of the House of Representatives take oath of office and secrecy. 
CPN Marist Center elects Chairman Puspa Kamal Dahal Prachinda as its parliamentary party leader. Health Ministry clarifies BF7 variant of COVID-19 detected in China has not been found in Nepal. And Taliban arrest women protesting against university ban in Afghanistan. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.radionepal.gov.np for mornings and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.